Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure a new Cisco switch. So let's say you are a local IT at a site and you are connecting a new switch to the network. So let's say this is the new site here. Here, switch to. And you are physically at, a, at the remote site and you have a laptop. So this is, I mean, I have prepared the configs actually here. So first thing that you need is to have a console cable from the from your PC going to the switch or laptop in this case. So if you have a party, uh, you can just use the default settings in that case and get a console cable and connect your, like what it's showing here, connect your laptop to the switch. And of course, connect the switch to the network. And first thing that you need to do when you get into that switch is configure host name, but let me get to the switch first. So let's say, this is a PuTTY application, or this is PuTTY application. So I can just use the default settings here. And it says that switch console is now available. So meaning I am connected to the switch using a, I mean, via console connection. So you type enable and like I was saying here, first thing that you need to do is at least, you know, configure a host name. So in that case, I'm going to configure a host name. And I can just copy and paste these. Actually, I need to go into the global configuration mode first and then paste the host name and configure a local account or local username and password and this is how you set the management IP of the switch so by default VLAN is configured or the default VLAN is VLAN 1 so if I just do a show IP brief I also see this here this is con this is enabled by default so we just have to configure the IP address and no shut it. The next is to configure the default gateway. And set the VTP to transparent mode. So meaning this switch will, will not participate in, in VTP, but will just relay uh, any VTP messages and at that point you can go ahead and configure SSH so it's it's advisable to configure SSH um, especially nowadays uh, instead of telnet so one of the requirements to configure SSH is you have to configure hostname first and you have to configure IP domain so in this case I already configured uh, S or switch to as the host name and IP domain. You can just copy and paste. That's the IP domain. And this is how you generate crypto. I mean RSA. So the command is crypto key generate RSA. If I enter here, it will ask me for the key modulus. Key modulus. So I will type the maximum. Uh, key modules here to 2040 and then I can I mean I will set the version of SSH to version 2 and this is the this is how you enable SSH on the under the VTY line and this here is how you uh, tell the switch to basically look at the uh, local account when someone logs into this switch. 
So I can just copy and paste these commands. And this is just for the console. So basically, what's, what the command is doing here is basically just making the lagging more readable. And same here, it's just asking the switch. I mean, you're telling the switch to look at the local account when someone log in to the console line as well. And you save the config. Yeah. So at that point, as the step says here, number three is you should now be able to remotely SSH into the switch and add additional configurations. <clears throat> so if you are a local IT and you have someone you know, uh, who has high positions or they are responsible for, you know, uh, fully configuration, this, the fully configure the switch, then you can tell them to go ahead and uh, access the switch via SSH. So let's say I am the network engineer at the remote site here. So I have my laptop here connected to the net, to switch or to the switch network. So I can just, you know, uh, SSH into the switch remotely. So I will choose this, telnet slash SSH client. So the IP address is this. So if I, if I type the IP address 192.168.19, I mean that one, that two, username is Cisco. And it says here, Connection type SSH. You also have Telnet as well. And connect. And password is Cisco. So you see that I'm able to connect or SSH into the into Cisco. I mean into switch to the new switch that we just configured. So from here, you can, as the network engineer, you can go ahead and configure other configurations or settings like STP you can go ahead and configure the uh, other VLANs as well the trunk ports if another switch is going to be connected to this switch um, and the access ports as well so that's how you can configure a new switch uh, and like I said this is a real world scenario because this is what's happening in at least at my workplace. So we all we usually have someone on site uh, physically connected to the switch and they have console cable. Uh, sometimes we we are asking them to share their screen uh, with us so we can there's a way to you know to be able to share your screen with someone remotely so they can uh, configure the switch remotely. Configurations here are really not so hard to just copy and paste into the switch. So once you are able to connect or to ping the switch uh, from your laptop remotely, then you can uh, go ahead and configure that switch. And I forgot to just do a ping, but you know, since I'm able to SSH into it, or actually, let me close this. So here, from the laptop, I can ping it, the switch, because I was able to, I mean, because I have layer three connectivity to it. So that's how you can configure a new switch, a switch that is located at another site. So that's it in this video. So if you like or if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.